did you get what you had hoped to see out of tonight? It, it couldn't have been any better. It was terrific. I give Lockhaven and Mike a, a ton of credit for competing, going after us hard, playing to the bitter end. You know, I, I knew he only had five or six guys and kind of wore them out at the end, but man, they, they competed hard. And, and it's great to get the young kids um, in front of their families, you know, under the lights, in the uniform for the first time. A lot of jitters. So a lot of jitters, a lot of ner nervousness out there. And uh, that's why I wanted to do this exhibition. The last couple years, I didn't do that. And it ended up, you know, kind of close first games, you know, the last couple of years. But this today, uh, I think will help us for Albany next week. Do you, do you say anything at halftime to, to calm those guys down? Like, what, what was that process of getting them acclimated? You know, we were just missing shots. You, you know, it's, I, I thought they were trying, they're playing hard. They're just missing shots. And sometimes we miss shots. As long as they stayed in the game and they kept competing, which I felt like they did, you know, there's, there's no Newt Rockney. There, there, it's more of a <laughs> keep shooting your open shots. And, and the, the, the shame of it is we've been shooting the ball so well. And uh, we, we didn't shoot the ball well today. You liked the shots in the first half? I liked every shot we took. Every, every three that we took I thought was a really good shot um, for, for a good shooter who's been working on it. You know, if, if certain guys aren't working on it, then I could say, you know, that might not have been a good shot. But I would say most of those shots... Uh, I thought we tried to share the ball. I mean, we ended up with 15 assists, but I don't think it was any indication it could have been better if, if some went in early. I mean, Chip hits three late right before I take him out, which is really good to see a junior going through a little shooting slump and to break out of it and, and stick to it. So I, I think that shows where Shep is, which is great. To see Shep get on that roll because just sort of remind you what he can do once he gets that odd hand. Yeah, I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when. You know, it was almost one of those, it's just a matter of time. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come in the first half, which I would have liked, uh, but it came in the second half, which is, again, credit to him for sticking to it and, um, you know, having the confidence to keep shooting. And we gave him that confidence, and his teammates tell him to keep, shoot, keep shooting, which is great. And Mike, when he was in there, he seemed to bring a lot of energy. Is that what you have been talking about this whole time? Is that sort of what you expected to see from him? Yeah, I thought he I, he was one of the guys that I thought was nervous. You know, I, think about this. He sat out for a year. That's the first time he put the jersey on. And, and he played in front of the crowd and his family, you know. It was a lot of emotions, I'm sure, for him, you know. And, and he finally got it going a little bit, and he looked like himself. I thought he was in a little bit of slow motion there early for him, <laughs> for him. Um, but he, he did a great job. Look, he finished with 15 and 9. You know, and, and, and his look like his post up stuff looked really nice tonight. He, our guys are really developing him, Dwayne Anderson especially. And also, seemed Julian, is he more comfortable going up with his left hand? Because he, he seems to go up with that left hand quite a bit. He, he obviously likes to go over right shoulder a little bit more than left shoulder, but he's very capable over both. I guess it's how they're playing him. You know, I, th I felt like they were playing him on the baseline side, so he took what the defense gave him. And, and, and again, he, he's just got to, everybody's got to slow down a little bit. We were jacked up. Slow down a little bit, finish those, those little go-tos and counters. And uh, for Lockhaven, uh, Mir with 32 points. Yeah, uh, we knew he was good. We knew. I mean, that's a great find by Mike. We, we knew he was good, and we knew that he could put it up, and we knew he could fill it up. Um, and, and he filled it up. I mean, his shots that he hit, I'm not going to yell at my guys. They were tough shots, you know, tough shots. Um, so, you know, it, it was good. I was happy for the kid Hinton. I was happy for Mike. But for me, we're going to watch film and see how we can get better as a team for team defense. Uh, 37 points in the first half and then 54 in the second. Uh, you improved your uh, shooting percentage 39.5 to 52.8. What did you say to the guys at halftime? We're going to play a little bit harder. You know, we can't let missing shots dictate our effort. You know, when you have so much youth on the court, sometimes that, that's what happens. And, um, and, you know, they responded really well at, at halftime. You know, just go out, play hard, compete, talk, you know, continue to build trust. You know, we got guys that are new that are playing for the first time together. So we're, we're just still figuring out all that chemistry and cohesion. And then five guys in double figures. Uh, you'd said at media day and then uh, earlier this week you want to score 80 a game. You scored 90 tonight. Uh, 
How does that uh, compare with your expectation? Yeah, I think it's refreshing. Shep, you know, didn't have a, his typical shooting night, and we still had three guys or four guys in double figures. You know, last year we relied really on Brandon Taylor and Shep to be those double figure guys. Now, on any given night, you know, we, we have some some guys that can get us to double figures, which is which is really exciting. Um, I know Davis didn't shoot the ball well today. He's been shooting the ball tremendous. But the minutes that he gives us and the ability for him to stretch, there's another guy you can add to that um, as far as getting us double digits. I feel like he's going to be one of those guys that's really going to help us out. He seems to be a guy that's just sort of right place, right time. Yeah. In the right he's got a knack. He, he's got one, you know, he's really got a nose for the ball. Somehow the ball is always, he's always tipping it or deflecting it or... Um, He's been doing a really good job. I was, I was surprised he shot over three, truthfully, because he shot good shots. Probably could have taken a couple more that I would have liked, um, but they just didn't go for him today. How did you like the point guard distribution, uh, dividing the minutes up? And yeah, I thought it was good. I mean, obviously Tony had to finish it. I just wanted him out there. I wanted him to keep playing, um, keep working on, you know, running a team. Um, you know, they're, they're another guy who a little bit nervous, you know, a little jitters, which is good, which is natural. It's organic. I love it. You love it. And hopefully now that we're past it, we can move on, and now you got your home opener next week. But I thought Tony, look, he played, what, 30, uh, Shep 25, and Terrence 23. It's pretty good. And I actually played all three at once at one point um, because that's something I'll do. You're going to have three guys that can break down and make plays for others and make plays for each other. And speeds up our defense a little bit, especially in our three-quarter court press. And then it also seems uh, Lamar can create his own shot. Yeah. Is that... Lamar's got a really good mid-range game, and he's got a really nice post-up game. Um, and and he can bring, he's going to bring the ball up for us. You know, when they missed and we pushed, he, drew, he pushed it up. So you're going to have four guys that can push the basketball up at any given time, which is great. It's going to be very difficult to defend us. But as you all know, we're not built on outscoring teams. We have to defend and rebound and do the little things that are going to help us in the Big Ten. So Reeves has um, a few dunks, um, several big steals. What type of energy does he bring to the team and to the court? Yeah, I was I was really pleased how he responded. He got in foul trouble against Seton Hall early, didn't play the normal minutes that he would play. Um, so for him to be, you know, seven for nine, um, you know, 15 points and get us three steals and two blocks, that's great. Now he... Some of the things we got to clean up are the simple things. You know, he's getting steals, and, you know, he's just got to kick, make better decisions, better passes to get the ball ahead. But I can't fault him because I want the ball kicked up on the pass. So we'll just we'll watch film, we'll clean it up, and, you know, we'll try to, we'll try to do, uh, do simple great. Last one. Uh, 19 minutes for Julian and 20 minutes for uh, Mike Watkins. Is that what we're going to expect at the five? They're going to split the time pretty evenly. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, we're going to go three to four minute increments. We're going to bring him in. As soon as I see them winded, put up a fist, get him right back in, keep him fresh, keep the other guy fresh. Uh, in a pinch, Lamar's ready to play the five. Play uh, obviously a little bit smaller, but with the way these guys are, are competing and, um, you know, the way Davis was shooting the ball in practice, I feel very comfortable playing Lamar at the five and Davis at the four. Thank you. See you next